Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas on Friday, April the 12th, and welcome to our video commentary. You know, when you look at the Democrat field running for president, and when you look at the polling data, there seem to be three predictable outcomes. Number one, Vice President Biden comes up first. Senator Sanders comes up second. And then there seems to be a battle for number three. Uh, first, it was Senator Kamala Harris, who was coming in three. Uh, then it was Beto O'Rourke, who was coming in three or third. And now, in a recent poll for New Hampshire, uh, coming in third place is the man they call Mayor Pete out of Indiana. This is uh, the mayor of Fort Bend, Indiana, uh, a fellow who's become very popular with the base of the Democrat Party. He's very young. He's only 37 but he's become very popular uh, with the base. He's articulate, he's outspoken, uh, he comes across very well, he's very telegenic. He's also openly homosexual, and I'm sure that captures uh, a lot of interest in, in, in a Democrat party really caught up in identity, identity politics. The question is what's happening with some of the others, like Senator Warren, who I think was the first one to get in, with Senator Harris and even with Beto O'Rourke. There was a very interesting article last week in Politico how Beto O'Rourke has lost a lot of fire. I mean, he doesn't seem to be drawing the crowds or create, creating the kind of excitement that he was doing in Texas. And I think that, again, we have to understand that uh, Beto O'Rourke was in a perfect storm a situation in Texas in 2018 because Number one, he was running against Ted Cruz, and, and everybody in the Democratic Party wanted to go after Ted Cruz. So a lot of money went Beto's direction to defeat uh, Senator Cruz. I mean, they spent something like $80 million, $80 million you know, raising, enrolling people, registering people. I mean, they did a very good job, but they couldn't quite get uh, Senator Cruz defeated. It's a little bit different for Beto when he's running in a... Uh, in a national campaign when the issues and the other candidates are a little bit different. I still think Senator Kamala Harris of California has a big advantage because, because of California, and that's an early primary. So if she can come out of California with a win or at least a lot of delegates, that will keep her uh, competitive for a while. But uh, my money is still on, on Senator Sanders. I just think Senator Sanders is probably the one who, who's going to end up getting the nomination. But again, anything could happen. Anything could happen. And I certainly would not be surprised if the nominee of the Democrat Party in 2020 is not someone running for president right now. Uh, I, I think that possibility is totally wide open. So we'll keep an eye on the Democrats. They're certainly keeping it very interesting, uh, to say the least. Thank you for watching. We have all of these on YouTube, on Twitter, and on my blog. And if today is your birthday, Happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.